series on DKA and HHS. Diabetic ketoacidosis is typically seen in patients with type 1 diabetes. It presents as a faster onset, usually in the younger populations, and because of this, it's easier to treat. A little refresher, diabetes type 1, you have none, meaning the body's not producing any insulin, so there's no sugar or potassium entering the cells. Because of this, the body burns fat to use for energy, which results in ketones and acidosis. One of the main causes of DKA is stress because we know that increased stress causes increased glucose in the body. It can also be caused by infection, acute illness, and not taking your insulin. We'll see patients that are dehydrated with high sugars, 250 to 500. Note that ketones, Kuzmal respirations, and abdominal pain are major signs specific to DKA. Remember the fruity breath and acidosis is present as well. For treatment, big key, we always treat the dehydration first with fluids. Then we treat the glucose levels with IV regular insulin. When sugars lower, ketones have resolved, we give sub-Q insulin and IV D5W. There's an imbalance of potassium here, so we add potassium and place the patient on a heart monitor. And don't forget those hourly glucose checks.